I resign. I make a resign. It doesn't, it doesn't, you know, uh, register in time, but it's fine. I make a resign nation. I play against very rude guy. I mean, just, um, I mean, I literally don't even care, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Okay. Mystery GM again. Smodvevka. Smodvevka. Uh, he still, well, this time he actually doesn't. Okay. There we go. There we go. We play. Normal. This is main. This is main the main line or close to main line? Yeah, this is the main line non castling chess. It's the main line of um, this particular variant. Uh, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine though. Uh, yeah, I think e6. Knight b3 was a threat. Attacking d5 afterwards. And yeah, once again, we just get a normal, normal game of non-castling chess. Which is, uh, which is lovely. I think h4 is going to come. Uh, I think queen b6 is reasonable. Attacking, attacking b2. Uh, after knight b3, I think I do get e5 though. He does have g5, but I wasn't I wasn't super worried about this. Leads to somehow a very strange position. Oh, I wanted to open the h file, but I didn't consider bishop g5. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, bishop g5, still there's bishop b4. Not too worried. To uh, quote Kruger from Kruger Industries. That's a very smile reference, if people do get that. Eh, not too worried. Now, if he did have his castling rights here, I would be in a world of trouble. But I think, without castling, Bishop, uh, sorry, Rook G8, King E7, and then Bishop B6, if, if I'm allowed, I think I'm fine. Bishop e6 now, rook g8, king e7. Yeah, I think that's fine. Just fine. No king e7, and I don't see. Don't have any worries here. Guess we'll go. Yeah, let's just go rook h8. Try and uh, coordinate the pieces a little bit. I didn't want to allow rook b1 because I will have to retreat with queen c7. Probably that's not a that's not a major issue. Yeah, looks like a good position. Yeah, it does. Everything is sort of protected. Actually, to continue with yeah. that theme, I should just yeah. take it very easy. Looks very, very easy. Rook h6. Rook h6. Next, I probably want queen i5 and then f5. Or queen i5 and then... Yeah, I saw knight d6, but I didn't... Didn't actually think this was an issue. Because I could go queen c5. But there is knight f5 then. Which is probably more annoying than I thought it would be. Okay, let's go for so much. And then he takes 94 back. Okay, neither, neither of them is ideal. Uh, okay, let's go queen c7 to at least protect the square on d7 if he goes knight f5 and then I have to go... I have to go... Um, takes an f5. Rook g8 is a possibility here, but I think after rook h1 and then rook h8, I should be fine. Okay, does go for it. Yeah, maybe I just go rook h8 immediately. It's the simplest. In general, I should not be mated in this. It's still the same game? I guess. Yeah, it's still the same game. It's a very, it's a very tough game. 
Knight d8, try and bring that knight around, e6 and then c5 possibly. Probably the stickiest game in the tournament. Real sticky icky icky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, if I take... I think I'll just take actually. Take queen d3, there's knight c5. With a double attack. But he probably didn't have anything else. Go uh, king of eight, probably. Run away. Oh, maybe I can't run away. Oh! No, I, I thought he was checking there again. I thought he would give the same check. Oh, this is so... So sloppy. Okay, let's repeat. So then we try and run away. Gonna go I'm gonna try and run away. Ooh. I wanna run away. Hey! It's a good sign. Yes. Okay, good, good. Nice. Good, okay. Belatedly, we should have had the. But we'll put this one instead after a good scramble. Okay, so what's the... what are the standings? You can't put the other one after the game. 